This is my least favorite way to organize a badminton club and it's happened to me now like twice in the past six months. Hey guys, Badminton Becky, an American living and playing badminton in China. If you love badminton, hit the subscribe button and the like button and all of that. If you don't love badminton, get out of here. <laughs> okay, so today we're playing with these guys. It's fine, it's fun, no complaints. There's six of us on a court. But, so there's 42 people and there is seven courts. So the organizer, obviously seven courts, 28 people. There's 14 people left over. So add two people per court, six people per court. That's a nice ratio. I like that. But you can see, can you see? Maybe you can't see. We are court number 32. So there are 34 courts all together. So there, there's another, this is just the small hall. There's another hall across the hallway with uh, 28 courts in it. This club, normally, whatever, normally it's fine. You just, normally the courts are right next to each other and you just mix and match and you play with and who and when you want to. But because the seven courts are split up, like seriously, it's like two here. There's like one by itself, one but like they're all totally, totally split up. They're not together. So she just assigned people to each court to make it fair. It means that we are stuck playing with the same four other people, which is fine. They're nice, but there's no mixed doubles. I don't know. There's a bunch of women that signed up today. They're in other courts, various spread throughout. We also had a friend that we came with and we were split up. He's in an opposite court, but the club leader didn't know we were together. So she split us up and we asked, we were like, can we play with him? And she was like, no, it'll just be like too much on one court, which, you know, she is right about. But at least like, this is fine, whatever. Like we're winning like 50%. So it's at least challenging now. But a few months ago, we went to another court and they had the same deal, but the thing was, they were all together in the same courts. It was like six courts all together. And the club leader just assigned six or seven people per court. And he wouldn't let us move and he wouldn't let us change. And we had just signed up. It was like a public account. You can like sign up on WeChat. The club leader didn't know us. We just randomly signed up because we wanted to play like in the afternoon on like a Sunday. They put us in like the total newbie beginner or maybe it was the unknown players group. So we were stuck. Literally, it was um, two girls like wearing a baggy oversized sweatshirt and, you know, cute jeans and, and a guy that was wearing, you know, some band shirt and some like khaki pants. And then there was one guy who actually had, you know, real badminton clothes and was not bad, but none of us could carry the beginners. And, you know, Aja and I playing together, it was just so boring. So we played like two or three games and we were like, we can't do this for two hours. And it's not even fun for the super beginners because they're just getting their ass whooped. You know, we weren't even really playing. So we kept, we kept trying to like get in. I didn't understand the setup because I'd never seen that before where even all the courts next to each other, you're not allowed to change courts and mix and match at all. And so we kept trying to get in and people were like rejecting us. And they were saying like, get out of here. Like you can't play. And I didn't understand why. And I was like really angry because that's never happened here. <laughs> people are super nice here and usually very generous because we have so many courts, we have so much time. Like there's not a scarcity problem here. So people are very generous normally. They knew the rules and I didn't know the rules. So I was like, what the, what the F? Like, why aren't they letting us play? And then I'd like try again and they'd be like, no. And I, and I was so angry. And then Aja kind of explained it to me. And we, and we just left because there was no sense in staying against, you know, playing a girl in jeans and an oversized sweater and a guy in a band shirt, you know? Like, it wouldn't be fun for anyone, so. Gotcha. See, also there's ping pong. This is like a half ping pong, half badminton arena because the other badminton is all badminton. But so today I understand. I'm not upset today because at least, you know, we are winning half our games. So it means we're losing half. So it means it is a challenge. And I understand like she actually originally only had like 20, 24 people sign up and she just like opened it up. So obviously the courts are really spread out. I'm not upset about it today, but I was thinking about 
how annoying it was at that other court when even though our levels were so different, they wouldn't let us change. I hate this setup. If you're a club leader, don't do this. Do two courts and 12 people. That's the same kind of thing. And people can mix and match it up and people can play with, find their own level. All right, well, we got here late and we only have like 30 minutes left, so. Gonna go, they're almost done. So gonna go back to playing. My little mini rant is over and I'll see you guys next time on the court. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what a toe hunting. Wait, wait, see. I literally just got hit on the head filming that one. <laughs>